This video will walk you through the steps of adding the Advanced Sessions plugin to your FPS template so that you can connect your players using the Steam Online subsystem. If you're interested in connecting your players using EOS, you should watch our tutorial specific to that subsystem. Although many principles are the same, the initial setup for the EOS is different. Let's start by opening your project folder and head to the config folder. Open the default engine.ini file where we'll append some text from the Unreal Engine documentation website, also linked below. Scroll down to the finished settings section in the documentation and copy the text. Paste it at the end of your default engine INI file that we've opened. Save the file and close it. Note that the Steam Dev app ID of 480 is the shared default testing ID for Steam games and will show up as Space Wars when your project connects to Steam. If you've gone through the Steam developer process and have your own app ID, you can enter it here at any time in the future. For now, app ID 480 works fine for development and testing. Now we need to download the Advanced Sessions plugin for the engine version that your project is set to using the link below to the Advanced Sessions website. Alternatively, you can find the plugin on the Unreal Engine forums. Unzip the folder and navigate back to your project folder. Create a folder inside your project folder called Plugins. Open the unzipped plugin folder and inside the Advanced Sessions main folder, grab the Advanced Sessions and Advanced Steam Sessions folders and drag them into your newly created plugins folder. Open your project and you'll receive a notification that new plugins are available. Click Manage Plugins and enable both your Advanced Session plugins. Follow the prompt to restart your editor. You can also navigate to your plugin settings by clicking Edit on the top left menu inside your editor and then select Plugins. After restarting the editor, we'll have access to the blueprints provided by the Advanced Sessions plugin. Let's head over to the BP underscore PC underscore menu located in the Characters folder under Blueprints. This is where we will replace the default sessions blueprints with the advanced sessions blueprints, allowing greater control over the information we retrieve from the sessions. Sessions uses four main nodes, create, find, join, and destroy. In our menu controller blueprint, we'll simply replace the nodes for creating and finding sessions with the advanced sessions blueprint nodes. For details on the advanced session nodes default options, make sure to read their documentation, but we'll cover the required basic settings here. When creating a session, your max player variable in your game mode will be passed through as the number of public connections allowed. The LAN boolean will be passed through from the client to determine whether or not players will find the session via LAN connection or via online subsystem. When finding sessions, it's important to set a high max result since we're using the development app ID which shares sessions with other games. Only sessions from your game will be returned, but it needs to iterate through other game sessions as well. A value of 100 ensures that your sessions can be found even if there's high traffic on the testing app ID. After replacing all the sessions nodes, we can take a look at how the extra settings can be used. Passing map information into the session can allow players that are searching for matches to get extra data. Make an array of extra settings for our create advanced sessions function. We'll add just one key and string value pair to this array for now in order to pass the map name through. Now when searching for maps, we can get the extra settings passed into the session. Double click the find sessions callback function and we'll get our extra settings here. Get the session property string for map and place the return value in our widget for the map name. Make sure to check the advanced session boolean so that the map name will be set to visible. Now we can first test our project on LAN. Save and close your project. Head over to the folder that your project is in and right click the Unreal Engine project file. Launch the game twice. You'll notice the Steam overlay signaling that you're connected to the online subsystem. You should also see that your Steam account shows as in-game playing Space Wars, as discussed earlier. Now, with two instances of your game running, create a match on one and search for it on the other with LAN enabled on both. You should be able to join yourself via LAN, which does not require the Steam subsystem. You'll also notice your map name is visible through the session extra settings that we set up. Shortly, we'll test our project using Steam's online connection. For this, you'll need two different Steam accounts on two different computers to allow you to connect the clients to each other. Typically, you would package your project and send it to another PC for this, but since my entire Unreal Engine project exists on both computers I'm using, and it's identical on both computers, I can right-click the Unreal project file and launch the game there without going through the extra packaging process. Another important note is that testing online connection with the default app ID of 480 can put region barriers on connecting players. For instance, testing online gameplay with someone from a different country while using the development app ID may not work. You can always set up a Steam developer account and get your own app ID to overcome this issue. 
Create a match using one PC and Steam account, and search for it on the other with the LAN boolean checked off. You'll notice that initially the match is not found when the LAN boolean is checked on by default, but after checking the boolean off you should be able to connect using the Steam subsystem. If you package your game and send it to your friends, you can playtest your FPS project with multiple people. At this point, you have a Steam connected game that you can play on LAN or online through Steam with your friends. If you have any questions about integrating Steam, the Advanced Sessions plugin, or the FPS template, make sure to post in our Discord. For questions about EOS integration, make sure you check out our other video with specifics on that subsystem. We provide extensive documentation and video tutorials on our website. You can purchase the FPS template by clicking the link in the description below. If you found this video helpful, please like and subscribe. See you next time.